Come one, come all. Earn a steady income without working. Be yourself and make big bucks. Earn your pocket money by just being you. Now hang on, hang on. I'm not one of those sleazy salesmen or one of these cheesy marketing professionals who spam your inbox with those dubious claims. I'm actually offering you what one of the biggest tech giants in the world is also. I'm talking about Facebook. Facebook will now be paying you, yes, for what? For simply sharing your digital activity. So as long as Facebook can track your social media whereabouts, what you're posting and what you're doing, you may be able to earn, let's say, a decent living doing well, nothing but doing what you've already been doing, browsing the web, posting and letting them basically see what you're doing. Now we'll discuss the pros and cons of this huge moment in our social media evolution in our top story today. For now, let's take a look at what's on the show. Will you sell your digital soul to Facebook for a monthly payment? We delve into the consequences of this choice. Cool, clean and fresh air, but just for one. We review a brand new category of personal air purifiers and this baby is from Dyson. And our journey with the MG Hector continues as we take you through all the safety elements of this car. It's now been the mantra of social media. If it's free, then you're the product. If they're not selling anything to you, then they're selling you. And till today, you've been working very, very hard on your social media, tending to it, gardening, watering, making those big, beautiful social media flowers come out. And you've been toiling and the actual money is being made by Facebook and others. But what if I told you it may finally change? What if I told you Facebook will now pay you to snoop on you? but with your consent and permission. So they've already been doing it, but now they may give you a little bit of money. Yes, a new Facebook app will allow users to sell the company data on how they use competitors' apps. Yes, the tech giant is now recruiting eager members to download a new app called Study from the Google Play Store. We tried it out and here's what we found. Now, once downloaded from the Google Play Store, you'll need to register with an email ID. A code is then supposed to be sent to register, and this is where the complication occurs. We received no code. Why? Because Facebook intends for this to be an invite-only platform. You have to be recruited through ads. Facebook will show you on its own app and others to both 18 plus Facebook users and non-users in the US and India. Yes, that's where we're starting from, and yes, India made it. Eventually, Facebook plans to extend the program to other countries, so it's not open to all and it's evident Facebook is targeting certain users, the kind that they can make money from. Facebook, of course, had gotten into trouble when TechCrunch, a popular tech platform, exposed Facebook for paying teenagers for access to their phones earlier. While this may appear to be a harmless market research tool and you'll make some money, if you're one of the chosen ones, you will be giving access to Facebook to watch and assess your entire digital life from your apps on your phones the amount of time you spend on each of them what apps you like what you downloaded but didn't like what you buy online and so much more pretty much everything you do is up for facebook to grab this app will give facebook a very convenient way of getting an insight into its competition and also an insight into your digital soul does the fact that facebook is now asking you for permission to snoop on you make it all justified just think even a simple app related to weight loss, pregnancy or health can reveal extremely sensitive information about you. Are you ready to fork all that over to Facebook for some very little bit of money? With the precious data that you'll be innocently handing over for a very small monthly payment, Facebook will decide which competing app to acquire, copy, ignore, what happened to the spirit of fair competition and a level playing field for these tech giants. I think that's just a dream for all of us. So while Facebook may be paying you to track your online habits, this sets a very dangerous precedent for online marketing. Facebook's track record in transparency isn't the best. In fact, I would say it's pretty much the worst. So if successful, it will actually help it achieve supreme market dominance. So think, where are we headed and where will all this stop? So what part of our lives is just ours and what part is up for sale? You decide because ultimately a choice is only yours to make. Now while Facebook has already made headlines, let's find out what else happened in tech this week.
has released new fitness trackers in India, the Samsung Galaxy Fit and Galaxy Fit E. Both these wearables can track activities like running, walking, biking and come with a gyroscope, an accelerometer and a heart rate monitor. The Galaxy Fit is priced at Rs 9,990 and the Fit E, the more affordable option, at Rs 2,590. And that's not all. Indians can finally get their hands on the new Galaxy Watch Active, which comes with a sporty design and can be used for blood pressure monitoring, managing stress through the stress tracker and a lot more. This one is priced at Rs 19,900. We will be trying to get fit with these products on the show soon, so watch this space for our full review. Mobile World Congress Shanghai underway this week. Several companies announced products and technologies that may shape your mobile phones in the future. Vivo, for instance, announced an augmented reality headset called the Vivo AR Glass, which is a lightweight headset with two transparent displays. It connects with a cable to the Vivo 5G smartphone. Vivo says the AR Glass will have multiple applications across gaming, office use, facial recognition and a lot more. Apple announced that Sir Joni Ive, Apple's chief design officer, will depart the company as an employee later this year to form an independent design company, which will count Apple as among its primary clients. So all through the time I was taking you through all the news, did you see this small little thing that's kind of pivoting on its own? Looks really, really nice, but I did not show you the entire thing because it's a personal air purifier just for me. And the reason I'm looking so radiant today is because of this. It's blowing out all this cool air towards me. So now Dyson, of course, is really adding to their portfolio. This is a personal air purifier. Put it onto your table or maybe just, you know, the, your bedside table when you're sleeping. This is just for you. And it has quite a few very interesting things around it, including how you control it and especially this part. So it looks like a little global thing out here, but you can actually control where the airflow goes very, very easily. Here's our review of this brand new product from Dyson. Pure, clean, fresh, cool air, but just for one. A luxury we didn't know we needed or deserved, but Dyson feels differently. Here is the Dyson Pure Cool Me, a personal fan and air purifier which is meant just for one. We're used to seeing larger purifiers from Dyson and the Pure Cool Me does intrigue us. And similar to all Dyson products, this one too comes at a high price tag. 25,900 rupees for this cute dome-like contraption which claims to blow clean, fresh and cool air right at you. So let's forget about Dyson's air multiplier technology found in the previous fans for just a bit. This baby comes with something called Core Flow technology which claims to blast super concentrated air directly at you without the need for such a large fan head. Let's test it out. While we had enjoyed some of the features of the Pure Cool Me at the launch in Singapore, we wanted to test out its many claims back home in India. This one has all the looks. Sleek, white and elegant. Like all Dyson products, this will nicely blend into your home. There is a convex dome mounted inside the round head and what you get is a bladeless fan. We would recommend you place this right next to you on a desk or next to your bedside at home, at an arm's length for best results. We also love how the remote control simply latches onto the magnetic pad of the cylindrical body. So chances of losing this will be rare unless you're super clumsy. You can use the remote to increase fan speed which can be seen on the LCD screen placed neatly at the bottom. The screen and the remote can also be used to display other stats like remaining filter life, to set timers and even to switch on and off. Do note, this filter cannot be cleaned and reused and will need to be replaced. While Dyson hasn't announced the price of its filter, we reckon it'll be expensive. And this filter has a lifespan of around 12 months, assuming you use this for 12 hours a day. Though given rising indoor air pollution in India, this figure is likely to change. The Pure Cool Me needs a power source at all times, which is a little cumbersome since this is intended for personal use. To replace the filter, you can lift the top off. This was pretty easy, so Dyson gets points for ease of use. Coming to the core flow technology, we quite enjoyed the high pressure focus stream of air. Though we were in an air conditioned environment, the cooling was still impressive. And another big plus, there is hardly any noise. You can use the plastic disc to manually change the direction. However, we would recommend you use the remote control. A big miss on Dyson's part is that the LCD doesn't show you the air quality in your room. The lack of auto mode is definitely going to raise some eyebrows. So don't think of this as a large scale air purifier for your room. What this is doing effectively is simply blowing purified air right at you. For those super hot Indian months, even an air conditioner needs some help and this one can pitch in. 
But Dyson does claim that the HEPA filter in the Pure Cool Me can catch 99.95% of ultra-fine particles in the air. This includes pollen, mold spores and bacteria, which are commonly found in indoor spaces like offices and homes. So if you buy this, you, and we mean only you, will be breathing better. Also note, there is no app to control this. While some may welcome this, others may whine and crib. We feel that since this is for personal use and needs to be at an arm's length, you can do without an app. So what do we think finally? If you're looking for an air purifier for a family in a large room, go for standalone ones like the Dyson Pure Hot Cool, if you're a Dyson fan, or other options from Blue Air and Philips. For the Dyson Pure Cool Me in this category, in fact, there is no competition. So opt for the Pure Cool Me if you want the luxury of cool and fresh air, just for one. And are willing to pay the big bucks for it, of course. You do know we've been on this amazing adventure and journey with the MG Motor Hector and today is our third part of this. And today we'll talk about security and safety because once again, besides the technology and the looks and everything else, this is another aspect that MG Motors has gone very, very deep into. Let's take a look. Welcome to this, our journey with MG Motor Hector. And I have to say, this has been an eye-opening experience in every which way because this car, it came up with so much of hype and buzz. My expectations were so high. I was not very sure if this car would live up to expectations. But like we've been exploring on our journey, not only is it living up to expectations, it's actually surpassing it. And now I'm going to show you something that isn't in the car but is one of my favorites. This is what enhances the experience of this car. It really gets the tech and you, the person who's driving, truly connected. This is the MG iSmart app. Now, of course, this will always reside on your phone. I'm gonna take you through some of the most interesting things on this. So, there's remote control, there's travel, there's geofence, there's smart drive, there's my profile. So I'll take you through geofencing, one of my favorites, but just before that, I'm gonna show you what all you can do with just the car itself. This is where you come to know the entire status of your car, your fuel tank, find your car, fuel range, everything that you want and you want to control. I mean, I can centrally lock my car, I can open the sunroof, I can do the tailgate from within the app, so much more that you can do. And I'll take you through a lot of things about the app, but right now I'm gonna do my favorite and that is geofencing. And when I, once I set the geofence, I'm going to actually tell you how it works. You can do a drive into your geofence. You can drive out of your geofence. So right now what it does is you go out there. It finds you on the GPS, tells you this is exactly where your car is. After that, I can set the fence radius. So, so I'm all set and we're all set. Let's see how this works out. Remember, I'm going to show you this part. I'm also going to show you other parts of the app. There is a reason that Rajiv is impressed with the geofencing feature on the MG Hector. Because it takes car security to a completely new level, especially at this price point. But then, this is just one from the plethora of new features. The MG Hector rolls out with much fanfare and cutting-edge technology at its core. Automotive connectivity coupled with some first-in-class safety and security aspects, which will dramatically improve your safety on the roadway. With dual airbags standard in the base variant and six airbags in the top variant, the car shelled with thick door panels of 0.7 and 1.14 mm combination makes sure you're as safe as at home while on the go. The Find My Car feature with walking directions to it via the iSmart app worked flawlessly when we tested it out. Another helpful feature is the 360 degree camera view or the visualization of the vehicle and its surroundings from a bird's eye view by the 360 degree camera along with the high quality image shown on the head unit. This is useful while parking or maneuvering moves in a tight spot. Other features like the electronic stability program, traction control system, electric parking brake, and hill hold control further supports the driver in nearly all critical driving situations. The integration with the iSmart app can also update you with features like vehicle security alarm, vehicle collision alarm, vehicle speed alert and smart drive which records driver analytics like harsh driving, drive time, routes taken etc. Most helpful if you have a driver. 
In case of any mishap, an e-call or auto-activated emergency call is made to the car head unit, followed by primary and emergency numbers in case of no response. There will be 120 MG centers by June and 250 by September. And now we're moving on to this, and I think we should really start doing this because a huge comeback is being made by laptops. This is the Asus VivoBook 15. Now, 34,900 and something is the price for this. Very thin, very nicely built, very nice screen, full FHD screen. And it's also about really the entire form factor and look, and then the performance. It's got an Intel i7 in it, so which really does make it nice and powerful. So this is not one where you're going to be kind of thinking, okay, I spent 34,000 rupees, but I skimped on performance. This will blaze through literally anything you throw at it. But what else does it have? Is it really worth the price? It's got a great screen that I can see, and the keyboard is fantastic, a new trackpad that can do a lot more. Here then is our review. We love it when we get to review a product that we use every day in the office and is a necessity more than a luxury. A good workhouse in the shape of a laptop is something we all need and want, which is why our expectations were high when we received the ASUS VivoBook 15 X512, which promises to be a reliable partner at work. And this one is aggressively priced and the range starts at 34,990 rupees. We've had the laptop for around two weeks now, so here's what we feel. The looks here are simple and classic, which are a staple of VivoBook laptops. It fits neatly on our desk and at 1.6 kilos, it was compact enough to slide into a big duffel bag. It is a handsome laptop, which comes with ASUS's trademark Ergo Lift hinge design. So if you notice, this design raises the keyboard by an angle of 2 degrees for easier typing and better ventilation in case this baby heats up. Some may have a problem with the plastic build, which naturally keeps the cost low. We don't mind plastic for the 35,000 model, but if you're spending around 80,000 rupees on the higher variants, you may not be too happy. The 15-inch LCD screen has very narrow bezels around and we have no complaints with the size. We did, however, feel the display is nothing to write home about and we wouldn't recommend using this outdoors. Especially because viewing the screen at different angles, the colors are not as stable. But for everyday work indoors in the office, this does the job. The keyboard comes with a number pad and the trackpad is large enough and also houses a fingerprint sensor. Although we did find the placement a bit cumbersome to use and would recommend the traditional password way to unlock this laptop. The keys are nice and clickety and we enjoyed the feedback while typing. There are enough ports for you to multitask including two USB 2 ports, one USB 3 port, our favorite the USB-C Thunder port and an HDMI port, a headphone jack and a micro SD card slot. Now in terms of performance, the proof lies in the pudding and in this case, the ASUS VivoBook, similar to most ASUS laptops, races through the day like a true workhorse. There is the Intel Core i7-8565U processor which is great for multitasking and makes this laptop quite a powerhouse. ASUS has also thrown in the NVIDIA MX250 graphics card for dealing with graphics intensive tasks. We tried some gaming on this and it did pretty well. For storage, there's a combination of a 256GB SSD and a 1TB hard drive. We didn't have much to say about the speakers and we would suggest you connect another speaker if you're watching a movie. We found the battery life to be decent, not too great. With our heavy use, the laptop had to be charged every 5 hours or so. All in all, we would recommend the new ASUS VivoBook to those who want a great processor at a good price point. The display is average and the battery life is just about okay. So only go for this if you want a workhorse on a budget. We'll take a quick break right now. On the show, I've got lots of cool stuff, including a smart headphone. You know, one of the smart things to do in the world of technology is that if you have a product, just use that before the name of the product. Smart anything really works. And that's what Jabra has done with this, the Elite 85H. Smart active noise cancellation, and they're actually calling these smart headphones. So what all does it have? Well, first and foremost, it's got incredible battery life. That is the part I really like. Second, smart active noise cancellation, of course, uses a lot of microphones to pick up all that stuff. It adapts to your environment, which literally every noise cancellation headphone has to do. But they put in so many mics into it that it actually serves a dual purpose. One, 
smart active noise cancellation to a whole new level. And second, the voice calls you make, suppose you actually pair it with a phone and you're making voice calls from your phone, then your voice and your voice quality is really, really good. We really enjoyed this one. Here then is our review. Big, bold, sturdy, and long lasting. These are not really the terms you associate with a pair of stellar headphones, but when we first experienced the Jabra Elite 85H, these are the images that came to mind. We first got a glimpse of them at the Consumer Electronics Show this year and these babies have finally made way to Indian shores. The big USB or differentiator that these boast of is something called Jabra Smart Sound, which essentially means active noise cancellation combined with Jabra's hear-through technology, which enables you to choose how much of the cacophony of the outside world you want to let in through these massive over-ears. And the audio of the Elite 85H will adjust to the surroundings blocking out the humdrum at your will. We like this claim, so let's test it out. Let's get the price out of the way. The headset is priced at Rs 28,999, which puts it right in competition with the Bose QuietComfort 35 II and the Sony WH-1000XM3, both fantastic audio products, though the Jabra ones are slightly cheaper. While these fit comfortably, we don't know how they'll handle a sweaty commute, so keep that in mind. We quite like the dual hinges and this stylish carrying case and the navy colour is quite chic. So if you download the Jabra Sound Plus app, you can shift to commute mode or public or private mode. This works well but takes a while to get used to. The noise cancelling on the Jabra 85H is at par with the Sony ones unless you're an audio purist. We quite enjoy the detailing in every note and symphony on the Jabra Elite 85H. There are six microphones dedicated for voice calls and this really helps because the audio quality of voice calls was brilliant. This could be attributed to the 40mm custom engineered speakers. And now another feature which gives the Jabra an edge over the rest. It boasts of a 36 hour battery life with active noise cancellation activated and 41 hours without ANC. We tried this headset for almost two weeks and only charged it once or twice depending on our usage in the day. These are also pretty durable and come with the IP52 dust and rain resistance backed by a two year warranty against water and dust. And if you want to tweak things like bass, treble and mids, you can customize the equalizer settings on the Jabra Sound Plus app. Another feature we loved was automatic play and pause on wearing or removing the headset. While there are no touch controls here, the standard buttons do the job and at times, simplicity is key. So what do we say? Well, competition from Sony and Bose is right there for Jabra to conquer and there is no denying that. But the call quality on the Jabra Elite 85H does give it an edge over the rest. All in all, this new Jabra headset is for those who want the best audio quality for voice calls and a stellar battery life to last you a long, long time. Well, that then was the show for this week. As always, lots and lots of great stuff coming up next week. Do tune in and I'll be right here waiting for you.